एवरीवन वेलकम टू जावर विजिटेड माय नेम इज नितेश एंड यू गाइस आर वाचिंग द अनदर वीडियो ऑफ दिस चैनल एंड फॉर टुडेस वीडियो वी विल हैव अ लुक एट व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज द रोड मैप फॉर बिकमिंग अ जावा डेवलपर सो यू माइट आस्क मी नाउ नितेश यू हैव यू हैव बीन गिवन अ जॉब टू मेक अ जावा डेवलपर रोड मैप बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेल अस व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज जावा डेवलपर ओके यू माइट ऑल ऑफ यू माइट हैव हर्ड दिस लाइक सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर टर्म राइट सो what exactly is the difference between a software developer and java developer the question first of all comes here and the answer is very simple when you are a software developer or a software engineer what he, uh, he basically have to do is uh, learn a lot of languages not a lot of languages but languages required uh, in their projects it can be java it can be c it can be c++ or it can be any language which is required in their project to work upon so software developer Uh, has to learn number of languages varying from project to project correct but when it comes to java developer java developer has basically work revolving around java only so it's not like he has to learn a new language say like c or c++ no 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 java developer just has to learn java language and of course some of the other things as well which we'll talk about today okay so i hope you have got a fair idea about what exactly is the difference between a java developer and a software developer software developer has to learn a lot of languages depending on the project but java developer uh the main focus for the java developer is java language not uh, other languages might come but it's the main focus main projects revolve around java only for java developers so in case you guys really want uh, to learn what exactly java developer road map is this video is for you and before starting this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to java revisited channel and in case you guys have not watched the previous video where we have talked about how garbage collector actually works why strings are immutable and different topics like that i definitely recommend you to watch that uh, link is given in the description all right so without any further delay let's get started and let's get into my laptop screen all right so here you can see uh, it's my first of all laptop screen and you might see that i have opened something for you okay don't worry about this pdf it it will be given in the description don't worry about that but let's understand how exactly this road map works so first of all here it's java understood the first step you need to do is learn the fundamentals for becoming a java developer you need to learn the fundamentals now this what comes under the fundamentals these are all the things basic syntax what is basic syntax you tell me like that um, public static void main string and uh, basic syntax you have to understand then you have to understand about data types variables conditionals what is conditionals conditionals basically your decision making statements right where we use if else statements functions also you have to learn good in good depth okay uh, then you have to learn about data structures uh, oops interfaces classes packages working with files and apis loops and exceptional handling now you might have got confused this this is what you are telling us don't worry i'll tell you what of all the things here mentioned it is basically when you enter your college these all the things have been taught or basically you need to learn these things if you are uh, applying for a placements okay so these all the things you i mean if you purchase any course on udemy all these things are basically covered in a particular course don't worry about that okay so loops and oops and packages uh, and working with files apis these all things you have to learn okay get a proper understanding about this data structures things like that understood so this is what comes under the fundamentals correct once you have learned this also okay once you have learned the basic syntax data types data structures you have solved a number of coding problems in java okay understood then you can dive some deeper but before diving deeper i would like to tell you like these packages and working with files you might ask me nidesh where do we get these type of things where you can learn these type of things see basically packages is uh, if you want to read about packages it basically like a theory portion packages if you want to uh, read about packages i would definitely recommend you to go for geeks for geeks website and type that just packages and things like that it will work for you all right so these are all the things like working with files and apis packages in case you guys want to uh, know about this theory portion about these packages and working with files you can definitely go for geeks for geeks website i am recommending you because it has the best content ever geeks for geeks okay 
let's talk about once you have learned the fundamentals let's talk about don't worry about this road map these are a lot of things here i'll tell you one thing before starting now i'm telling you one thing all the things you are seeing here once you have learned the fundamentals and basics and you have solved a number of coding problem questions okay then all these other things when you apply for a job or a placement you will eventually learn these things while being in a job or while being uh, working for a project uh, while being working in a project okay you will learn these things automatically with time so don't just lay a focus on yourself that i need to do these things at in this particular time no no with time you will learn eventually everything in java okay but first step is very important that is learning the fundamentals of java and fundamentals i have told you basic syntax these all things like that then once you have learned the basic fundamentals you have got an idea okay this is java and let's get into deeper so in deeper you can see there are a lot of things how jvm works now jvm how jvm works it's not like a code or something else right jvm works is basically where you can read from it you can basically read it from geeks for geek website gfgs then garbage collection we have made a video also in garbage collection it's very easy okay and then basics of threads then streams generics and memory management collection framework serialization networking and sockets so this what is this everything just don't worry about this you will get this road map in your uh, in the description and from gfg website that is geeks for geeks website just try understanding about this and we'll eventually make a video on the se separate videos on these topic as well like garbage collector we have made and things like that okay then once you have understood a basic knowledge after that you have went deeper into this you have learned about like okay this is exactly how jvm works this is what exactly garbage collection and things like that then it comes to building tools now what are tools there are basically main three tools in java and that is gradle maven and ant now these are the three tools which a java developer use in a project uh, or say it like in the java projects especially to uh, solve the problems or uh in order to work for the open source programs or projects mainly so these are basically the tools that java developer use uh, out of these three if you ask me this do we have to learn these three um see it depends from project to project actually which project are you working on but to be on the safer side i'll definitely recommend you to learn all the three about these okay then once you have learned about the building tools okay this is exactly what uh, tools like look like in uh, java then come it then uh, comes the next portion which is web frameworks you have to learn about frameworks and what are the frameworks in java spring spring boot play framework spark so these are basically the frameworks i'm telling you don't get get so much uh, tension like i have to learn these strings also to become a java developer no with time with project when you start working as a open source contributor you will realize that you can you will learn side by side while working for an open source project okay so don't just lay a focus that uh, i'll learn everything about java and then i'll apply for an open source project or then i can be a java developer no no you need to understand these all the things i'm mentioning you it takes time to learn and if you look at java developers also they don't have a proper knowledge or said like if a, i ask a java developer a question like uh, tell me about this topic it might my chances are might he might know about the topic chances are he might not but that's perfect it's complete okay okay it doesn't matter the thing is you need to first of all learn the fundamentals you have to understand the tools in java fundamentals and basically about the tools and then about the frameworks this is the main thing you have to do okay so i have told you about this that frameworks are this then once uh you have done this like frameworks and things like that then this is the next portion which is orm jdbc logging frameworks these are all the things you have to do once you have developed the web framework now what comes under orm it's jpa spring data jpa hibernate ebn and what exactly comes under uh logging frameworks log back log for j2 tiny log don't worry about it i know you might get confused in this where can i learn these things i'm telling you when you start contributing for an open source project you will realize that you are learning these things side by side 
just work for a startup as a java developer and you will learn about these things the people will eventually tell you okay we, uh, this is where you can learn from okay or if you want to learn it from your side uh, personally then you can have a course also you can purchase a course on udemy don't worry uh, you can visit the java revisited website we have given a description about the courses as well the best courses which you can do then comes uh, once you have learned this logging framework jdbc then you have now understood about what exactly is java up to here you have got an idea okay this is java this is how gvm works things like that now it times to testing your apps so Nidish, do i have to test apps yeah because if you look at android development java is basically used okay uh, i know there's another language is which is being used but java is also used so basically the functioning is testing your apps or it's said like uh, you have to uh, work for an open source project or basically implementing your knowledge correct so in case of testing your apps there are things like behavior testing then mocking and things like that then after <laughs> there are a lot of like unit testing also integration testing also so this is exactly what your uh, java developer roadmap looks like so i know it's basically you might get confused with this this is a lot of to do but still i'll say you learn the fundamentals first for example for becoming a java developer i would definitely recommend you to learn the fundamentals data structure and algorithm perfect then once you have with time with time you will have uh, your interest in java there will be an interest which you will develop already in java okay you will develop an interest side by side in java once you develop an interest side by side in java just start uh, searching about these things on internet like about garbage collection it's very easy how jvm works you can just uh, make a new tab and search about how jvm works okay then basics of threads you can search memory management things like that Let's end this video for now and I hope you guys like this video. If you guys do, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to Java Revisited channel and in the next video, we'll have a look at different topics like how JVM works and how to create classes, loops and things like that. So in case you guys have not uh, connected with the Java Revisited channel on YouTube, I mean, you have not subscribed to our channel, just subscribe and get connected with us. And in the next video, we'll talk about uh, how JVM works and things like that. <laughs>